up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we're gonna to be pulling shards but just before we do that um i'm gonna be having an upcoming video where i accidentally finished in plat um i didn't even realize i literally just checked yesterday and i said like, oh oh i finished in plat so i'm gonna be making a video on that so make sure to check out but yeah honestly obviously i was pushing plat um it looked like i didn't finish in plat and then Somehow I ended up in plat. So yeah, I'll be making a video on that and giving you guys tricks and tips on how to get into plat and how to push for it. It's not easy. Uh, you know, it is what it is, but hopefully this can help some of you guys out there. So shards, we've got 24 sacreds. There's two events going on. So obviously 2x, but then also there's a chance to get um, Altrion. Um, he's got a really, really good kit. He looks like he's just built for Hydra lots of protected buffs which is really really nice um i don't know if he's going to really help my account i mean if i get him i'll be very happy but if we don't i'm not going to be too sad so 24 sacreds let's go guys um who's my most wanted at the moment uh probably like prince kaimar um witha would be nice but outside of that i'm doing pretty well so i, I i'm sort of almost got all the non-void legendaries that i really want so Let's see if we can get something new for the account, something juicy. Uh, let me know who you guys are after. And good luck with your pools, guys. Hopefully, you know, you get that champion that you're after. But yeah, I think Prince Karma is like my number one at the moment. I did get a uh, Harima recently. I mean, that was so epic. Uh, and then obviously I pushed hard for, um, for her souls. And yeah, it cost me a lot of resources but we manage to get them. Um, yeah, and I'll be making a video on that as well. So here we go, guys. Here we go. <laughs> and it's Drowning Skull Reap. So he's uh, he's like a nuka. Um, I have not really seen him used in arena and stuff. Um, but yeah, he's pretty highly rated. Um, not really sure where he's strong, though. So be looking forward to testing him out. If you guys have got him, let me know. Let me know where you're using him. Okay. Uh, Urusin, uh Trash. Pretty useless. Um, Artur, like, he's got to provoke. Um, but outside of that, you know, I don't think he brings too much to the table. Okay. Ripper. Um, pretty decent, uh, can do a decent amount of damage. Zagala, great champion, can smash heads, AoE drop defense, great for wave clear and arena. Ooh, Utikia. <laughs> oh my God. Do you know what, guys? I'm dyslexic and I struggle with the pronunciation of a champion name, so it's Utikata. Utikata? <laughs> I'm probably butchering this name. Um, yeah, she looks... Okay, so she's a poison champion. Throws out poison sensitivity. Yeah, she looks pretty sweet. Pretty sweet epic. Oh, Crypt Witch, Trash. Oh, Tomo. This is, uh, uh, is this a new champion? She sort of sneaked in under the radar. Places counterattack buff on an ally. Okay, so seems like okay. Um, I guess it should be pretty good for faction war progression for Shadowkin. Um, Shadowkin was a weird one. Like I didn't have, I was able to clear 21 very, very fast. But um, yeah, it was like, a str it's a strange faction. Like, I feel like they don't have, a, like a lot of epics to help you progress like i just used like all legendaries and stuff i was quite lucky um yeah so hopefully that helps fake draco so drake um he's a pretty weak champion but if you build him like with loads and loads of dps like stack that attack stack that crit damage he can like be like a baby septimus and just pick off all the targets one by one 
wow, like this has been pretty bad. 24 sacreds and we've only pulled one legendary. Um, let's just come out, pull some mysteries, see if that mixes things up, changes our luck a little bit. Okay, back to the sacreds. And another epic blood feather and a really underrated champion. Um, again, I th I'm sure she brings in AOE decrease. Yeah, yeah, she does drop that def uh, drop that defense when ascended. But yeah, but yeah, she can hit really hard. Decent champion needs a bit of accuracy to land that AOE defense. But yeah, pretty solid champion. What is going on, guys? Where is the legendaries? What? Uh, Gal uh, Galcut, Gowart, Galcut. Um, yeah, this guy, I'm sure, is his A2 is one of the hardest hitting abilities in the game, like sort of Trunda level damage. Like, hits really hard for a legend, uh, for an epic. Wow, where, where's the gold? Raid are doing me dirty. Come on, guys. What? <laughs> and we had to finish on Ulmer Gaelic, who's probably my most hated champion. I mean, he looks awesome, but he's just pure trash. Um, yeah, like, I don't, he has like an interesting kit. It was just that I think the only thing they do is basically he has to put increased attack buff on himself to land HP burn. It just makes no sense. Like, he's an epic champion. And the games moved way, like, since, you know, back when he was released, there wasn't that many HP burn champions. Now there's, like, there's a ton. There's loads of epics, loads of legendaries that can do HP burn, and he's just obsolete. But, yeah, guys, we got wrecked. We got absolutely wrecked today. Wow, how sad. Like, literally pulled one legendary out of 24 with 2x on as well. I just can't believe it. But um, yeah, I've been the real deal. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you have way, way better luck than I did today. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in the video soon. Peace.